of all Earth's creatures, man is indeed the most adaptable. He's built shelters, discovered communication. Gee, I'm sorry, Frank. I'm uh, busy tonight. Alleviated boredom. Assuage needs. Solve problems. No one's buying it, Chief. Hire an ad agency. Created beauty. Understood tragedy. Oh, my boys are going to have a flat tire. Okay, okay, I'll buy a new one. Withstood holocausts. And so on. And there's no reason why man can't adapt to the pollution problem. When the air gets too foul to breathe, man's lungs will enlarge in order to hold more oxygen. And naturally, in order to support his enormous body, his legs will enlarge. And his neck would stretch so that he could get to cleaner air. His arms would grow also. In order to keep his balance, he'd develop a tail. Because of his size, placental reproduction would be awkward. So he'd have to lay eggs. And I'm also contributing to tomorrow's oil pools.
also has to get rid of its garbage.
In the beginning, there were vast, far-reaching expanses of land, water, and air. There was lots of space for man to live in and enjoy. Suddenly, man discovered he was crowded. Of course, it's all man's fault. He's simply too big. So all we really need to do is shrink people to a hundredth of their size. And there'll be plenty of space again. The world would be new once more, offering new vistas to man to his inquisitive drive, his adventurous spirit. Fantastic as it may seem, this dream has actually become reality. What you are looking at is the first ounce of that potent elixir which will give man a new future. Thank you.
is the most aggressive creature on Earth. However, there may be ways to harness this energy for useful purposes. Thank you. 
like an inversion out there. I don't want to make matters worse. I don't blame you. Well, got to rush. Mm, you sure smell good. Oh, boy, you sure can't beat natural smells. <laughs> oh, does that mean you'll be late for dinner? Yeah, oh, I guess so. I got to make up for the time it'll take getting to work. Okay, I'll keep the beans warm. Bye, honey. Good morning, Mr. Fondue. Here's the new design, all ready for your approval. Ta-ta! Are you guys crazy? Look at this waste of material. We don't need fenders this big. Nobody needs fenders this big. Good Lord, this motor's made for an airplane. Talk about pollution. This thing will do the job of 20 cars. And what's all this fancy stuff hanging all over? You want to kill somebody? What a waste! Don't you guys understand that we're in the transportation business? We just want to help people get from A to B, not cater to childish fantasies. Good God, can you imagine what rush hour would be like if everybody owned one of these monsters? Just a simple, practical, clean, inoffensive vehicle. That's all I'm asking for. Does that sound like an unreasonable request? Go back and design something useful.
Say, I, I wonder what's keeping Henry with that report. Henry? What's keeping you, son? What? Oh, too bad. Well, look, make sure you stay there till the ambulance arrives. Sure, we'll wait. Oh, no, don't worry. We can always order more coffee. <laughs> Only had 12 so far. <laughs> Hello, son. I'm sorry, but our meeting is taking longer than I expected. So we'll have to go swimming another time. Is it Daddy? Is it Daddy? Oh, that's okay, Dad. Gloria and me will take a bike ride or something. Aww. Hey, Gloria. I got a good idea. Let's clean the house. Oh, boy. I want a vacuum. Oh, dear. I just can't get these towels bright enough. So who wants bright towels? If it takes all those chemicals to brighten them, it's not worth it. As long as they're clean, that's the main thing. Oh, of course. How stupid of me. I'm a victim of false needs. Gosh, here I am, preaching about chemicals, and I'm filling my lungs with this stuff. I just love kids. When Derek and I get married, we're going to fill the house with them. Yes, it's a temptation. But we're not having any more. Huh? Hmm, the population boom is frightening. We're planning to adopt. Hands up. Uh, please. I've got a wife and four children. Okay, drop it. Oi. Now what am I going to do? Go to jail, no doubt. <laughs> oh, hey, now. <laughs> don't take it so hard. Uh, nothing ever goes right. First, I get all these mouths to feed, then I lose my job. Next, my wife moves out on me. All I want is enough to eat, for Pete's sake. Oh, well, how about coming over to my place for supper? Hey, what kind of work do you do? I know of a few places where they're looking for help. Anyway, you can stay with me and the family. Can I put my hands down now? Gosh, did I hurt you? It's, it's nothing. But you're bleeding. Hey, Butch, throw me a towel. This guy's bleeding. It's, it's nothing, really. What you have to hit him so hard for? Didn't I tell you it was dangerous if you got carried away? You never said nothing about bleeding. All right. Go get it, tiger. Kill. Yeah! All right. Next. Excuse me, Sergeant, but does that bag of sand represent the enemy? Yeah. You mean if we ever meet the enemy, who's really another human being, we have to stick this into them? I never thought of it like that, Private. Why, it's, it's barbaric! Sorry to bring it up, Sarge. I thought you should know. I wonder if the lieutenant knows. What? I, I, I wouldn't lie to you, sir. This is serious, Lieutenant. We better inform the general. What? But I, I thought it was just a game. Oh, wait till I tell the others. What? What? Wow, there must be 20,000 people here today to witness the event of the century, the congealing of Niagara Falls. In a few minutes, the final drop of water will be rounding the bend for the last hundred yards before it drops to oblivion and into history. And now with the aid of our reporter copter, we're going to try and get a closer look. In the meantime, when you take a look at the crowds down there, they're having the time of their lives. If we can just get the camera in there, there it is, there it is, and she's moving right along. Listen to that crowd! While we're waiting, most of you probably know that at one time the Earth was covered with quite a bit of water. But thanks to progress and technology, almost all of it has been filled. And of course, we're here today to witness. Ladies and gentlemen, there she is, hovering on the peak of the fall area. And there she goes! And there you have it, ladies and gentlemen. History is made today as the last drop of water dropped this last drop to join the billions of drops before it, thus making every body of water on Earth safe for walking. Phew, I'm thirsty. <laughs> <laughs>